Hello, what's up, and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, it is me, XOKG, with the OG intro. But look, I'm going to be doing a thorough walkthrough, three step tutorial on how to win Big Top. So make sure you watch this all the way through and share it with your friends so y'all can be on the same page and y'all can win together. Not only that, we got the dates for Big Top up in the left hand corner, and then in the right hand corner, I had the um the objectives that you had to complete three times okay and um not only that we're gonna start off with step one was the one in the middle which is the free throw not the free throw but the mini basketball machine what you want to do is you want to make your ways to jeff arcade and you just want to practice trying to reach a score of 150 so like i said you want to reach a goal of 150 and sooner or later y'all gonna see me get my turn and i'm gonna go off on this machine man um i used to practice the machine in 2k18 and then not only that they used to have the Reese's free throw um challenge as well so what i want to say is this is the first step that you want to do your best to complete in big top because it is very tedious and a lot of people give up on this step and they might beat the other course but because they can't do the free throw machine they just give up so you you know grinding three four hours of this event for some people it might take that long you know what i'm saying especially if you don't have nobody to run with you running with randoms and you hoping to get a spot trust me your squad's doing the most sneakiest things to get the next game but like i said you want to come to jeff's arcade and you want to reach a score of 150 and you want to keep trying and trying and trying trust me persistence is key if you give up you will never win once again this is the first step okay just go into big top and knock it out three times in a row and then after that you're gonna go to the house rules or the trampolines the trampolines are just the cages um as you can see in the left hand corner man i'm gonna reach 150 right before my seconds run out and let me tell you something just keep going bro like as soon as you give up is that's when you lose instead of just like mustering up the courage and trying to complete the task but pretty soon i'm gonna zoom in and you're just gonna see the sign of relief on my face like oh my gosh <laughs> that was terribly hard type stuff um not only that i won this event multiple times in one day and got all my clothes and that's because i went from server to server shout out to the homie jay man for helping me win the first big top bro like i think this was the first event that i won in 2k20 to be honest with y'all and then after that it was like now it's time to do it in 1v1 rush no 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 1v1 rush was my first event yeah so shout out to jay man jay got me into 1v1 rush in asia server and trust me it was lagging latency it was tough to play in that and then um jay also got me into big top um in another server to start early so yeah right here this is the trampolines um i was hanging out with rich and bro we was just going off for the last couple hours i can't believe we played cages that long i actually had like a 19 hour stream that i wasn't able to download and if you look in the right hand corner y'all i think i hit like 176 on the the mini basketball machine and trust me like i said practice makes perfect now back to this um trampoline slash cages with the mascots it is very very hard to beat these mascots but if you ever play cages man you know you can push them you can spam square and not only that i think i was on my glass i want to say on my two-way slashing playmaker i really can't remember but bro y'all are gonna see us uh, stop them by like jumping on the trampolines when they jump on it and it makes them fall in the air it's so many cheesy moves that you can do to beat them but like bruh they got a circus olay of tricks to score bruh and you gonna see that throughout this dang video man um we wind up winning and just hanging out you know rich was over there drinking his beer shout out to rich man much love to you my dude i hope you're doing great in your career bro shout out to chris got fame y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to him too don't forget to subscribe to me and smash the like button because y'all i spent two days making this okay downloading clips for y'all to enjoy so like i said the first step was the mini basketball machines practice that in jeff's arcade at least once a day or three times a day you know what i'm saying or every other day 
to where when you go to this event, you can just knock it out. And then when it comes to cages, what you want to do is you want to actually go to cages in, um, in NBA 2K21 and you want to practice there. Try to get good at throwing alleys and not only that, shooting the ball, passing to the opening person when you get uh, doubled. Now this, now this shot right here, this video clip right here, bro. If the lineup that you really, really want to run, because this was some previous footage before I really figured out the fastest concept. Now, when it, as you can see, this is house rules. And whatever you land on, that's what the game um, objective is going to be about. Um, they got the old school, like where you score ones and twos, which is even funner for me because like the game goes by slower. You get more rep and it's two times rep in this event. So look at here, man. Um, the lineup that you want to run, you actually want to run like two bigs. Like you can run a post score or like a glass cleaning finisher with a post hook because you could just post hook the whole game and, and cheese them. Not only that, um, you want to run a slasher for your PG, bro. And you want to set screens in the middle or a double screen. And you just want your PG to wrap around and just dunk. If he gets a contact dunk, he gets a contact dunk. And y'all just reset. It's all about defense. Each one of these mascots, they can shoot lights out contested. They go for alley oops on the cut. If you wind up uh, clamping up the PG, they take mid-range clutch shots. And bro, this is a difficult one. But this is like the second one I like to tackle because it usually takes the longest time to beat. Um, the reason why I say that is because it's like it's squads that are spamming um whatchamacallit? What is it called, bro? Uh it's, it's squad spamming the squad spot. Someone from the the squad spot, like they'll jump on randoms. Like I know for a fact that I was cheating, like I'll jump on randoms with the other randoms. And then like if it wasn't a group by the squads or they were trying to get grouped up because you know people be on their phones and stuff um i would jump off the randoms and i would jump on squads with my team and as you can see we won now sometimes you get an arrow like or you'll get kicked out of um the match bro and you will wind up like not winning and then your teammates will win that match and like let's say like y'all win two but you missed out on one because you got kicked and then all of a sudden you know you got to run four games so just keep that in mind. And as y'all can see, y'all, um, in the left-hand corner, the goals are being completed. Um, every time I win a game for whatever set I'm in, whether it's the mini basketball machine, the house rules going against the three mascots, or the trampolines, which is the cages with the three mascots. Not only that, um, we got to talk about my two-way finisher on the screen. We're going to run through these badges real quick and this is this is the bill i'm going in in there with and i hope i get to run with a slasher because i just want somebody rim running taking two so here are my stats right here as y'all can see i got my contact dunks i'm a 97 overall so yeah i can't run pg with this bill if i got the weakest link i'm going crazy as you can see i got my rebound and i get 30 defensive badges man defense 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 is the key so you want to run a slasher for the pg you can run a perm lock for the second man in case your um slash get double team um the 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 perm lock can uh shoot lights out or if you try to throw an alley -oop nine times out of ten bro the mascots are gonna intercept that if you ever play court conqueror bro you can win a game of house rules against the mascots all right um we got john slayer we got consistent finisher fancy footwork to gather my feet we got slithery finisher to get past in the lanes and then we got contact finisher, which means, you know, if I take contact, I can still get that contact dunk and make the layup. If I miss time to layup, we got consistent finisher. Giant Slayer to um, less the contest um, from the mascots. So y'all just read through those, through those badges and learn them. I got seven playmaking badges. I'm going to be using downhill more than likely. So if the, the big, the other big that I'm running with gets the board, I'll be faster with downhill. Um, I might throw on bailout bronze just in case I don't get that contact dunk animation. Needle threader, of course. So these mascots, man, it's like they got Hall of Fame badges in every category, bro. So that's why I'm going to be using needle threader, you guys, um, just to get the ball to whoever I'm trying to pass it to. Now for my defense. That's right. I got 30 defensive badges. I'm telling y'all, 
defense, defense, defense. That's the only way you're going to stop these mascots, bro. I got box out goal. Um, that's the keep them from like pushing me out of hole when i'm trying to get a, a rebound um intimidated bronze because like intimidated this year is overrated it does not work significantly as it used to in 2k20 um so that's why i got it on bronze but if you do put intimidator on hall of fame and like heart crusher on gold or hall of fame they work hand in hand it's like you got a pair of badges this year i got clamps hall of fame and look, beware, when you clamp up that point guard, whichever mascot is running PG, make sure your second and third man are watching for that cut from the other mascots because they will throw it in my alley, bro. And if you give them space, like I said, they clutch shooters. They will shoot lights out, bro. All right? Um, I got Rim Protector Hall of Fame. I got Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame. Pogo Stick on go. I might have to uh, move Pogo Stick up. And then here comes the juice, man. Here comes the sauce. This is my 2K20 account, two-way slashing playmaker that y'all are looking at right now. No, I don't have my big top backpack on, but you can see my um my dodgeball rodeo cowboy hat. You can see my big top um arm sleeve and leg sleeve, and then all the drip on the wall. I'm going crazy. I was going crazy, bro. I was trying to fill my wall up. I was almost there, bro, with my shoe collection. And then in the right hand corner, I got the footage of me like actually winning the prizes. But look, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this three step. I'm gonna be leaving like um segments down below of time steps. Y'all share this with y'all friends so y'all can be on the same page. Not only that, subscribe, smash the like button, tap the notification bell, leave a comment down below. Let me know if this helped you. And until next time, I will talk to y'all. I want to talk to y'all. Matter of fact, I will see y'all when I see y'all. Kid is out, deuces. <laughs>